Empathy. For example, your friend fails their test. What do you do? You could say, it's okay. Or you could say, I'm so sorry. Failing feels terrible. And you give them a hug. Now, that shows empathy. It's okay will not make your friend feel listened to. And in that sense, it'll not make your friend feel respected. And it'll make them feel like their emotions aren't being listened to because obviously it's not okay for your friend. Lacking empathy is lacking respect for the other person. It's lacking compassion. It's lacking humility to understand what the other person is going through. Now these are imperative for ending or for preventing any genocide. Genocide comes when a group of people are represented only by one part of their identity. So for example, during the Second World War, one of the, a few of the um, reasons that people would become targets was if they were Jewish, if their religion, if they had a certain religion, or if they were from the LGBTQ plus um, community, or if they were from the gypsy ethnic group. Um, the list goes on and it includes race, it includes sex, it includes gender, it includes socioeconomic class, and all of these identity factors are important, but they don't represent a whole person. A whole person is made up of all of these. So during a genocide, oftentimes, the perpetrators degrade the communities that they're targeting into just one of these boxes, and they villainize one of these boxes, make them something evil that must be swept aside. The solution, then, is empathy. For example, if every kid learned that empathy and that compassion and that listening to others and being part of their traditions and their identities and understanding that, having compassion for that, would help the world, um, would really make the world a better place because it would allow for these people to not become perpetrators because they find respect and they find compassion for the other person. So for example, if in a school they would teach all of the students about different religions, different sexual orientations, different ethnicities, different races, different sexes, different genders, different socioeconomic classes, different levels of education, and so much more, and so they teach them about all of these differences and how these differences can be embraced and not swept aside and not disrespected. And that is something that will lead to that compassion, to that respect, and ultimately that empathy. And I think that is one of the greatest things about empathy. And it's almost a medicine um, against and to prevent almost like a vaccine, not even a medicine, like a vaccine for genocides. Thank you. Let's vaccinate the world with empathy.